Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I have a tool that I am extremely excited about. It's something I've wanted and needed for years, but didn't really know it existed. Um, and that's and what it is is basically a portable soldering iron. And I've always needed something like this for years, but I never really found one. And what this basically is, so I'll kind of first kind of talk about kind of what this is, and I'll kind of talk about why I think it's important and kind of why I got it. So first of all, just to make things clear, this is a Pine Cell Smart Mini Portable Soldering Iron. Let me throw it up here on the screen to kind of show what we're looking at here. And for $26, this thing is just, I think, spectacular of a soldering iron for all it does. Uh, first of all, it's extremely light. 80 grams makes thing. I mean, this thing feels, I mean, it really feels like, like a pencil or a pen in your hand. Um, it actually, it's even got certifications here. So, you know, it's not just kind of some cheap Chinese junk that's going to burn your house down, but it's also a microchip. So this uses actual CPU to control the temperature of this. And it's got a pretty cool OLED display here. Let me fire it up. I don't have a high wattage power source here, but actually maybe it is. Let's see. But you get a nice OLED screen here that allows you to do things like temperature control. So you can actually set the temperature to what, what you want. Uh, you can actually even make this left-handed. So I actually have it in left-hand format. So you can see that allows me to see the, the display, but you can also switch it if you want it to be your right hand. So that way it's more com comfortable for you. Um, and then you have a few other settings you can kind of go through. The, the menu is a little... You know, you have two buttons to work with. It's a little kind of, uh, you know, it's a little clunky to navigate through a menu, but it's something you really only have to go do once or twice. So it's not a big deal. But it heats up very quickly. You can already see we're already at, at temperature right here. Uh, but it works extremely well. Uh, it really does. And what I usually, the way I make this portable is I have a, like a Blue Yeti, uh, I guess you can call them solar generators, but just a battery pack, which has got a 100-watt USB-C. And that's enough to get this empowered. So it lets me kind of take this into small places uh, where I wouldn't be able to take my other soldering iron, which is like I have like a bigger one with like a base and everything. Uh, but a lot of my soldering I do is typically either like inside a car cabin if I'm doing some wire work or um, just like hobby stuff where I'm, again, not near my workbench where I can use my kind of traditional type of soldering iron. So this thing has been really great. Uh, you can see for power ports, we have a USB-C and a barrel connection. Uh, it will run off of 12 to 24 volts. Uh, power delivery, uh, uh, quick charge 3.0, so pretty newer type of stuff we're talking about here. Um, it does come with a pretty good tip already, but they sell tips that you can get smaller or bigger as well if you wanted to. Um, it's got certifications um, and a 30-day warranty. So this is kind of where I got it right here. Um, this is kind of basically what you get is just the tip and, you know, the side of an iron. So really cool, uh, really cool tool. I uh, highly recommend this one. So I've had this for, I don't know, about a month or two now, and I've used it a couple of times, and it's worked. I mean, it works just like a like a soldering iron would work, right? I, you don't notice that it's kind of a portable one. Um, it gets hot really quick, holds the temperature really well, um, really comfortable to use in the hand, got a good rubber grip here. And most of all, I love the portability of it. So where I've used it so far is um, I have a radar detector that I have hardwired into my car. So, you know, you use like a fuse tap to connect the wires and then you got to connect the the power to the wires of the, from the fuse tap. And that's usually inside a car, you know, under your dashboard where it's kind of a tight area. But I was really easily able to get this in there, drop a little bit of solder on both the connections, get a nice tight connection. Um, so, I, I mean, I could see myself using this kind of over my kind of traditional solder iron, to be honest. I just like it so much. And the temperature control, uh, super easy, heats up very quick as well. I mean, 
it's just a, a really good tool. And most of all, I can't believe it's only $25. Now, shipping is kind of expensive. I think it's like 12 bucks for shipping. So that does kind of raise the price. But you can also get some extra stuff with it. Um, what I got uh, were, I got the extra tip set right here. So it kind of gives you um, some kind of more kind of mi microscopic ones. So you can kind of see I got some like kind of finer point ones right here. Because again, most of the stuff I use this for is usually going to be for like, you know, hobby stuff like fixing toys or electronics, things like that, where precision is going to be more important. But so I got these um, these tips with it, and then of course, um, I again this is extra too. This is like three dollars. This is a silicone uh, heat resistant uh, USB C cable, so it does better with heat. Uh, than like a traditional one that you might get with your phone. But yeah, that's kind of the uh, the package I got here. And um, now I'm just kind of looking for places to use this thing again because it, it's such a good tool um, that I can't believe I've gone this long without, um, especially if you're using one of like blowtorch ones. So I used to have one, of like a, it was like a butane blowtorch that had, a, had like the tip in there and the torch heats up the tip and then you can use it for solder. I hated that thing. It took forever to heat up. Um, and then the stupid thing would be gas all the time. So every time I went to pick it up, it was always empty. It was just a, a pain to use. So this one is just a joy to use. So highly recommend this one against the Pine 64. Uh, if you go to their website, pine64.com, they actually have a whole lot of other stuff they sell. Um, so it's just a really cool tool. So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, you know, I don't have anything to kind of demonstrate working to be honest I, i'm kind of holding off to make this video because i'm looking for something to fix or but I, I have nothing right now on my plate um so i can't really kind of show you it in action but it i mean it works like a iron works right there's nothing new here you, you know you put the solder on the wire you know you solder the, the big thing about this one is just how it gets its power and it, you can kind of take this into a lot of different places uh like around the house um in the car outside you know we don't always have to worry about a, having a plug um, and again at $25 for this type of precision type temperature control is uh, I think a, a really good bargain because the one I have gosh I can't remember what, it, what kind I have now but it was like 80 bucks I think it was um, it's got temperature control and everything it's got a whole deck docking station and everything but um, but yeah again this feels like it should be more uh, when, it, when I saw the price I was kind of skeptical to be honest, I wasn't sure what I was, how good this thing was going to be for 26 bucks, but yeah, I mean, it's awesome. I'm actually buy a second one, to be honest, just in case they ever stop making it because I'd want to have one just in case it ever breaks. Um, and over here, you can actually see kind of how much uh, power you need for this thing. So you need an 18 watt, um, 18 watts minimum to kind of get, get this thing going. Um, I found that that takes a long time uh, to get hot or even getting to temperature. So I definitely would use something closer to the higher wattage. You, um, um, I wouldn't use like a cell phone charger. You probably want to use like a laptop or a tablet uh, power brick uh, to, to power this thing. But yeah, that's it for this one. Um, this one is, this one gets my gold seal approval. That's uh, one of my tools that is going to be a recommendation and going to be in my arsenal for indefinitely because I just think it's a really clever tool. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.